Hey guys, Abuse here. Sorry if uh, I was not doing it now, but um, the camera might have a little bit of glare. You can kind of see it. There's a crack on my screen protector right on the camera, but I don't want to take it off. Anyway, we got Titanfall 2. This game. Boy, oh boy. This game. Oh my god, this game. I don't know where to begin with this game. Came out 2016. I got it the year it came out. Got it for Christmas along with my Xbox One. S and um man I, I played it so much when it first came out and then I took a break and then during quarantine I got back into it I took a break and I'm back into it again and oh my god this game this game is so good I mean like I don't know where to begin so if you don't know what Titanfall 2 is um it's a sequel to Titanfall Titanfall um it was a pretty big game when it came out on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 um I played that one because it was five dollars at GameStop once I saw the album I saw the um, not album cover, I saw the game cover, and I was like, that looks really cool, I gotta get that, and it was only $5, so I got it, and um, went home, played it, kind of loved it a lot, and then the second one came out, and I was like, I gotta get that, so then I got that too, and the second one, it's it's a lot better, um, I haven't played the first one in a long time, like, probably, like, almost a decade now, um, but um, that's crazy, that's kind of crazy, so there's been more time in my life where I haven't played since I played Titanfall 1, than uh than before I played it. Kinda crazy. Just, just wanna point that out there. But um this one is a lot better. Uh, I remember thinking that when I first started playing this one, that this one's just way better. It's got a lot more content. It's got a campaign. The first one is not of a campaign or like any story or nothing like that. Um and yeah. So Titanfall, what is it? It is a um it's a movement shooter, I think is what people call it. It's a first person shooter. Um where the movement's kinda crazy. You can like you can double jump, you can run really fast, you can uh, run on walls, you can slide, you know, all that good stuff. Kind of like, um, ooh, what, what, no, where's the game? Where's the game that I was going to compare it to? But I'm com completely left my head. Oh, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare. That's what I was going to say. It's just like the exosuits in Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare, except a little bit faster, and there's not like fuel, like it's fuel in those games for your jetpack. This one is not. You can just kind of go crazy. Um, but then the big mechanic, the big game-changing mechanic that is in the title of the game is every now and then, once you get enough kills, enough points or whatever, you can call in a titan. Which, if you look here, it's the giant robot um, with a giant gun, pretty much. And, um, yeah, so everybody gets one of those. So then, like, the game starts off, you know, kind of like a normal first-person shooter, but then it kind of escalates into a bunch of giant robots fighting each other. And it's so cool. Oh my god, it is so cool. It is so much fun, so unique. You feel so powerful inside of one of these things, and um, it's just great. And then in this game, the first game, it had a bit of customization for it, for the Titans. But this game was like, before it was like loadouts. This game, it's like um, classes pretty much, but you can still customize. There still is a good amount of customization of in the classes. Um, I think there's like, let me check real quick. I think there's like, if I had to guess, I'd say like eight classes. Um, and they're all very unique to each other. They all have, like, one, like, main theme, if that makes sense. And I think that's super cool. Like, it works really well. Yeah, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's seven of them. I guess, sorry, not eight. There's seven of them. And um, they all have, like, their own theme, you know? So, like, this one, for example, Scorch, its whole theme is it has fire, you know? All of its moves revolve around fire. This one, oh, this one's actually kind of weird, but it's like, a, it's like a sniper, pretty much. Um, this one, its whole thing is melee, and it's just really fast and has a sword. Um, this one, everything it does revolves around shooting missiles, pretty much. Um, this one's just a tank with a minigun, and, like, this one's whole thing is, like, it shoots lasers, like, and it has energy and stuff like that. Like, it's pretty cool. Works very well, I'd say, and it just makes them all feel very unique. Even, like, not gameplay-wise, but just, like, design-wise. They all look unique, and they all, like just like have character you know this game has a lot of character which i think is very good always a good thing having character it can define a game it can leave it in your mind character is very important um and on top of that um once you actually go into it for example you got like a titan kit all of them share this you just get to choose like a one of six abilities and then they all have their own like little selection of abilities so some pretty good customization um that leaves like a lot of combinations you know it's only two slots but each one, one is six, one is five. So that's a lot of combinations of stuff, you know? You can kind of make like a bit of builds, like not really, but like you can kind of make builds with it, not really at all, but like kind of. Um, yeah, so that is an amazing mechanic. So cool, so unique, being able to call down robots from the sky, giant mech suits, and just fighting mech suits, like that's so cool. 
that is so cool and it fits so well like it works so well um you might think it's kind of crazy you know like a normal pretty standard shooter just evolves into giant robots fighting each other kind of crazy it might not work well kind of hard to execute but they did it so well it works amazingly i love it and there are different game modes too let me see there's a lot of different game modes um i don't really play any of them except for the main one called attrition but yeah there's like like 10 game modes but yeah really attrition is like the best one by far so that's the only one i ever play we have bounty hunt that's a pretty cool one we got captured a flag you know we got titans only pilots only you know, pilots are just like a, when you're not in a Titan, you know, when you're just like a, a guy, pretty much. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. Um, Then the customization for, like, your pilot, which is just your loadout, pretty much. It's pretty crazy, too. You get, you get free weapons. Not two. You get three of them. You get one primary, two secondaries. And one of the secondaries is, like, an anti-Titan weapon. So I bet something that you were probably thinking, if this is your first time hearing about the game, is, like, if you're a pilot and you don't have your Titan yet, and there's Titans after you, like, what are you going to do? Every every pilot gets a gets an anti titan weapon, which is a game changer. You know, it makes you very very strong against the titans. This one weapon, there's several of them. There's like six or so, and um, but it can do a lot of damage to a titan to the point where like you could solo one if you're really good at the game. Honestly, as a pilot, which I think is really cool. You have to be really good at the game, and your opponent would have to be pretty bad, but um, you could solo one. And then there's different classes too. Everybody gets an ability that happens when you press a left bumper, and um. There's a bunch of them, but one's a grapple hook, one makes you run really fast for a little bit, one makes you throw a blade, and then whenever the blade hits, it does like a little like a radar scan from the blade and like scans all the enemies nearby. That's pretty unique. Um, one makes you invisible, like one makes a, a wall in front of you, you know? A lot of cool, really unique abilities, but that's just another layer of depth, you know? It's not really like classes, you know, because it's just one ability, it's just one keybind pretty much, but um, very unique, and I like it a lot. And all the, all the abilities kind of, like, change up how you're going to play and, like, how the rest of your loadout should revolve around in a way, kind of. Not really, but kind of. Um, so, yeah, multiplayer. Fantastic. Amazing. The movement's great. Titans are great. Everything about it is great. It works very well. Um, then the campaign. Oh, so two things I want to talk about. So, in attrition, which is, like, you know, like I said, the game, the main uh, game mode, um, once a team loses... A little ship comes from the sky and picks up everybody who's still alive. And if you make it to this little ship, then you can escape and you get, like, extra XP. Pretty cool. But then the other team, you know, the team that won, they have to destroy the ship. And then if you destroy the ship, you get more XP. Which I think that is so cool. That is, like, so unique. You know, no other game I've seen, no other, like, first-person shooter multiplayer game, I've never seen something like that before where, like, after you lose, there's still something you can do to get more XP. Or even after you win, you can still destroy the ship to get XP, you know? So it's a nice little way. It's like, to not, because most games, you know, they have, like, a little bonus XP that you get for winning a game. This is kind of, like, a good way to, like, justify that so you still get to level up quick and stuff. I think that's very well designed and very cool and pretty fun at the end. It's pretty, like, pretty, like, heart-wrenching, you know, um, heart-bumping, I, I don't know what the word is. But, um, like, trying to get to the shit before it takes off and leaves you behind or trying to destroy it before it takes off, you know. Also, the maps, the maps in this game, all very unique, all very cool, all work very well. I don't think there's any, like, bad maps. They're all pretty good. They're all very good. Um, so yeah, that's, that's another big plus. And also, a really cool mechanic, I don't want to talk about this for too long, but, um, is there a loading. So, there are loading in this game, I didn't even know what this, like, I don't even remember this existing before I started playing it again, but, um, when you're load, you know, there's the, there's the animation, obviously, right? Most games, you know, it's, you start with animation, and then you get your bullets when the animation's complete, right? This game, the animation kind of has, like, has, like, checkpoints in a way, you know? Like, your guy pulls out the magazine, and then if you're animation gets interrupted like you start sprinting you melee you uh, grab something or something if the animation gets interrupted but you already pulled out the magazine then when you reload again the animation is going to start with you putting in a new magazine and you don't have to do that step of animation where he pulls out the magazine so pretty much it's like if you start reloading and it gets interrupted then you can go back to reloading but it's, fa it's faster like it saves your progress pretty much from reloading which i've never seen before but it fits so well with this game because your reloading does get interrupted a lot whether it be, like, from mantling something or, uh, I don't know, meleeing or throwing your grenade or something like that, you know, so many things can interrupt it, can, ah, can interrupt it, and that makes it just feel so much smoother and so nice, you know, and it makes it, it, it's such a small change, but you can feel it so much, and yeah, very cool. Um, given the campaign, the campaign, pretty short, it's like, a eight missions or something, let me check real quick, it's like, a. 
nine missions, my bad. Nine missions. Um, all pretty short, pretty much on the short end. I'd say the longest one is probably like 40 minutes. Um, and like the shortest one's like 15 minutes. So pretty, pretty nice length campaign. It, it works, you know. I don't think it has to be any longer at all. I think it's a nice, quick little story. The story, you know, it's not much. It's nothing crazy. There's no like crazy like plot going on. But just like the basic plot that's going on, like it's enough to make you like invested in a way, you know, like you're not going to like be like super invested in the actual story, but like it's enough to make you feel like what you're doing is important, if that makes sense. Like you're not invested in the plot, but like it makes you feel like what you're doing matters in a way. I, I feel like those things kind of contradict each other, but like I feel like if you play it, you understand, you know, I'm trying to think of a good example. Like um, like most some call of, no Call of Duty. It's not like that. Call of Duty is more like actually a story. But, um, I don't know what campaigns like that, but, you know, it's just, like, the main story isn't anything exciting, you know? You're just trying to stop the end of the world, pretty much, you know? Kind of kind of basic. But, like, that plot enough, and the way they do it, is, like, enough to keep you engaged and, like, makes certain moments feel more intense, if that makes sense. Yeah, very cool. The characters are cool. Voice acting's pretty good for the most part. Um, yeah, the characters are fun. Um... And yeah, the missions are all really unique. Every mission has you, like, taking, takes you through a like, completely different environment than the last, you know? Like, one you're in a sewer, one you're on an airplane, one you're, um, you're, you're shifting through time. One of them, you're on a, on a radar dish. Like, there's a bunch of, like, crazy missions. You go to a lot of crazy places, you know? Each mission's completely unique from each other. And that's always cool. That's always good. Campaigns, you know? You don't want just the campaigns are supposed to be exciting, you know, I feel like, you know? There's a lot of crazy things going on at once, and I think it does that perfectly. Very, very perfectly. And there's some, like, very unique missions. Like I said, there's one that has you sh shifting, like, in and out of time, you know? Like, you get, like, a little ability, I said, when you press the left bumper, it gets replaced if the ability to go forward and backwards in time. It's like that one Dishonored 2 mission, if you ever played that. Um, you know what I'm talking about if you played the game. But um, it lets it kind of, like, go back in and out of time, and it's really cool. I don't really know how to describe it, really it works very well and it's very fun it's probably the most memorable mission i'd say um yeah say campaign it's good it works it works very very well i'd say very fun to do it won't take you long but it's a very fun journey i'd say and it's pretty replayable you know there's like collectibles and stuff and there's like master challenges or something like that so it's pretty replayable say so, campaign very good then there's one other mode called like frontier defense this one was not launched with the game and i never really got into it that much it's kind of like a tower defense like there's one giant tower and there's titans and robots rushing at it and you have to destroy them before they destroy the tower pretty basic but um it's fun you know it's something to do if you get bored of the other modes you know but i don't really know enough about it to like review it fully and it's not that complex enough for me to even make like a good segment of review about it that's it's like it's like i said you just gotta defend the tower from the different enemies it works it's fun it's something to do um, but yeah, I think I said about what we're just to say. Game, easy, 7 out of 7, I'd say. I can't think of anything I'd change. Like, I can't. Like, I'm trying and I just can't. Um, I don't know. I don't know at all. It's pretty perfect, if you ask me. I don't give 7 out of 7s out too often. I guess kind of on this channel I do, because I tend to replay the games that are 7 out of 7s, and I review them after I'm done replaying them. So I guess I have given out a few 7 out of 7s on this channel. But, um, I have this little, like, app called Backlog that lets me, like, see all the games I played. And there's, like, 200-something of them, and I've only given seven, uh, I've only given fives. It's five stars, unfortunately. They don't, they don't get it. It's only five stars, um, on the app. But I've given, like, only, like, 20 or so five stars out of, like, 200-something. So I'm telling you, five-star games, seven out of seven games, don't come around often, but this is one of them. And surprisingly, almost 10 years later, it's still pretty alive. I can still find, like, let me see the concurrent players right now. You can check, it tells you. Um, on Xbox, Xbox Series X, we got 1,522 players right now. That's a lot of players for a game that old. Very cool. Um, yeah. So, yeah, definitely pick this game up. It goes on sale for $3. I've seen it, the, the Ultimate Edition. My friend got it, like, five, not five, maybe, like, four years ago. He got the Ultimate Edition for only two ninety nine on Xbox. Like, he got the game with all the... DLC, there's no, like, real DLC, the DLC is just, like, cosmetics, pretty much, but, um, he got the game of all his cosmetic stuff for only $2.99, like, 
that is such a steal. Like, I'm telling you, that is an amazing deal. If you see that on Xbox, definitely pick it up or on Steam or whatever. This game, pick it up. Even for full price. I think full price is like $20 right now. That's definitely worth it, I'd say. Like, it's very easily worth it. Yeah, pick this game up. Very fun. Definitely recommend if you like shooters, fast-paced shooters, cool movement shooters. If you like giant robots, man. Like, there's nothing not to like in this game. There's nothing not to like. It's an amazing game. Go play it. Um, and yeah, have a titan-tastic day. Uh, and views out.